All right, guys, so I have two subwoofers sitting here on the bench. I have a CT Sounds Tropo 12 inch and I have a SCAR SDR 12 inch. Both are dual four. We're going to test these two woofers, see which one we like better. We're going to actually unbox them and see what they're about. I guess we'll just start with the SCAR. So as everybody knows, no unboxing is complete without the old kitchen knife. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna start with that SCAR. We'll set this aside. Let's check this out. Hey, look, another box. Let's get it out. Hmm. Don't need that. Hey, look at this. Scar SDR 12. Two and a half inch coil, 600 watts. There should be. Let's see what she's inside. All right, check this out. We've got a decal, owner's manual. Protective layer. There's our woofer in the box. Look at that. That's our woofer right there. Let's get some of this packaging off. I'm actually going to get a mat to set this stuff down on so we don't get the woofers di dirty. Alright, so I've got a little mat. We're going to just put that on there. Just so we don't scuff anything up. Alright. side for right now. And we'll break out the CT sounds. See what it's all about. So this is a CT sounds Tropo 12 inch subwoofer. It's also 600 watts RMS. Actually this one may be, I think the website says something different. 650, I don't know, let's see. Hey, another box. Alright, check this out. Quite a bit, a couple of different goodies in there. We got a long logo here. We 
got a QR code and an appreciation letter. What's this say? Oh, this is their Facebook page. CD Sounds only Facebook page. Facebook. Decal or, uh, you know, just a different decal. And a spec book. Has a link to the website right there on the spec book. Amplifier wiring configurations. It's pretty cool. Here's a scar. Doesn't really have any amplifier wiring configurations, but it does have some box specs. But I think CT Sound says box specs on the website. Cool. All right, let's open her up. There's a thick protective ring. There's the woofer. Oh. Man, this kid is heavy. And the uh, box. Get the box out of the way. Check this out. Very nice chrome magnet. It's also pretty stiff. Has the coil readings on there. You see the dual the dual wound tinsel leads. Man, that chrome just looks great. Okay, let's get this mat. So here's the two woofers laid side by side with some of the stuff that comes in the box. This has a couple decals. That has a decal. Information, information. Pretty simple stuff. I feel like you kind of need this stuff when you order a woofer. Let's just check out the woofers and see what we like about them. Alright, I guess we'll... I guess we'll start with this car. Pretty decent little woofer. It's all black. Big Ferris magnet. Big heavy roll surround. The cone is kind of matte colored. The terminal leads are color coded single wound the CT sounds is quite a bit different there there's a lot going on here um, a bit taller of a surround it's quite a bit taller and you know thus it can potentially move a little bit more um, even though it has a, a little bit larger cone area compared to that of the of the scar so actually I'll uh, measure the cone area of each of these woofers so the CT sounds about nine and a quarter the scar is about eight inches inch and a quarter difference on the cone uh, if you want to go Cone to half a spider, we're looking at ten and a half versus nine and a half. So an inch larger uh, moving area, piston area on this one versus this one here. So the amount of air that a woofer can move is actually determined by the diameter of the cone and half of the uh, of the surround on the outside. So you can go from one side of the full sides of the surround to the inside of the other plus the cone and also the X max how much this thing will actually move those two things together will give you a volume of 
a cylinder, and that's how much air each of these woofers can move. All right, so this CT Sounds has some stitching here, whereas this one does not have the stitching. It has the dual leads on the on the tinsel here. Uh, the spider's not red, it's actually a black. Still pretty neat. It does, it does have this chrome magnet and this glossy white. And of course all the CT sound stuff has the ohm load labeled on the terminal cups on the bottom, which I think is super neat. So it does kind of seem like there's a little bit of a height difference between the two. It's not a whole lot. I think what it is, the basket on this one is a little bit bigger and the foam on this one is a little bit taller. So their overall height is very, very similar. So I actually have an SMD AMM1. So why don't we throw some sine waves to these free air and see what kind of power handling they have. And as well as we can observe some of the, the excursion and the flex and just kind of, you know, see what they look like. It's important to note that free air testing is not going to tell you what a woofer is going to sound like or how much power they're going to handle, but it is fun to do. So let's try it out. Which is the power handle mode, real time power mode. There we go. Let's try it out. Let's play a tone. All right, so I got a test tone set up, and I got the um, meter here. We're gonna play a tone. We're gonna start with about a 40 hertz. Maybe go to a 30, maybe a 20. Let's just see what it does. Make a noise. About 270 watts free air, we're hitting mechanical limits at 40 hertz. Let's try 30. Here's a 30 hertz. 
probably won't be able to pick this up on camera. Try 20 hertz. It's 500 watts, 20 hertz. So that was pretty cool. We got to play with the scar. I guess let's just see what the CZ sounds to do. Pretty flexing little woofer. Took about 500 watts free air before it started to stink. And this woofer is, is much heavier than that that scar woofer. Man, I wish I had a scale. Oh man. Okay, so I got the CT Sounds Tropo 12 inch woofer hooked up to the amplifier and the AMM1. Let's throw some waves. How about a 40 hertz? We'll start with that. So we'll take it up to mechanical limits at 40 hertz. Six hundred watts. Oh, that's pretty neat. Let's actually hold 600 watts free air. It's about 300 watts. It's about 300 watts free air. Let's get it moving a little bit. Let's try 30. Well, obviously you can't see 30 on the camera, but... Is that about 200 watts before limits? Let's try 20. Four hundred watts. Even with the hole covered, it still has cooling on the outside because of those six holes.
it's literally not even warm yet. Well, I guess we can throw these in a box and see what they uh, what they do at frequency. See how well they hold that rated power. So in one of my previous videos, I actually built this subwoofer box here. And I built it specifically for one of these woofers. So maybe one of them can go in my car. So I built this cheap box. So I built this box in one of my other videos. So we're going to put these woofers in this box here. And we're going to kind of play some tones. See how well they handle the power at the tuning. And see what the impedance rise is going to be in this simple homemade enclosure. This is about as basic as it gets, about a one and a half cubic foot. Uh, it's seen around 30 something hertz, we'll find out. And it has a pretty decent pour area for a single 12, less than a thousand watts. Let's flip this thing around. Get it down in front of the camera. Not gonna lie, pretty good looking sub. Just simple. Everything's black. Oh, it's loosened up a good little bit now that we played it. Pretty cool. It's not quite as stiff as it was. The other one's loosened up a little bit too. Very nice. Now because this is a cheap box, the whole purpose of building this is to be cheap. We just use regular screws. So we can actually find the tuning of this enclosure pretty simple. All you got to do is watch the speaker. We're going to play some test tones one at a time starting around 40. Power on low. I'll show you. Okay, Ooh, nice and loud now it's in the box. So if we're going to play this on 40 hertz. All right, so we're going to play 40 hertz, and what we're going to do is we're going to look for this logo right here. We're going to watch this logo move. All right, if you turn it sideways, it's a little bit easier to see the logo moving. That's how we're going to determine the frequency our enclosure is tuned to. We're going to play 40 hertz. We're going to turn it up just a little bit. Okay, you can see it moving. We're going to go down in frequency. 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, What you want to do is you want to listen, or you just want to watch this. And when this logo starts moving, you're away from the tuning. You'll see, and then as you start to change the tuning, it'll start getting to where it's moving just a little bit. And then as you go up, up even farther, it'll start moving more. That point where it moves the, little, the, the least amount is where your tuning is. In this case, our woofer box is actually tuned to 35 hertz. And I think if I actually go back, I remember that I probably did build this to 35 hertz. Pretty neat. Let's try it out. 
All right, let's play some tunes. Well, I guess we'll start at 35 hertz. See what, how much power it can handle. It's 35. Now the meter's set up all the way down here, so I'll maybe I can zoom it in. It's on a pretty short lead. That's 600 watts. That's steady, 600 watts at tuning 3.7 ohms. There's a steady 600. 650, something like that. Oh. Dude, no way. I was on 600 watts. 570 watts. Even as much as 650 watts. Holy crap. Let's get it out of there. Let's get it out of there. Holy smokes! Literally! Man, look at that smoke! Look at that smoke, dude! Oh my word! Man, <laughs> well, okay. Tropo up next. Hopefully she survives it. If it, if it ain't going to take rid of power, it's not going to my car. It's very simple as that. Oh my gosh, 600 watts. I can't believe that at all. Toasted that coil. Okay. See if you sound up on the block. Should better make some noise. At tuning, same 35 hertz. Man, let's try it out. All right, let's see if we can cook this one too. 600 watts, dang. Let's turn on our, man, I really wish y'all can see that. I gotta figure something out. This is just too far away. Maybe I'll zoom in on that. You see that? some longer wires. All right, let's try this one out. Same frequency. 35 hertz. 35 hertz. 300 watts. Four. Five. 680. So we'll take it down to 570 watts. 550, 580, 590. It's 580, 590 watts at tuning. Whew, 1100. 
hundred, a thousand. Okay, so Scar actually sent me a brand new woofer here. Pretty cool of them. So now we're going to take these two woofers out and actually put them in the car. I thought it was pretty unfair if this one was working and this one wasn't. So I got a replacement so we can actually do a sound comparison now. Alright, so we're going to throw the subwoofers in the car. First the Scar, then the CT. We're going to see what they sound like. Which one hits harder. Alright, so we got the subwoofer put in there. Let's turn her on. See what she sounds like. Started pretty good. Let's pull it out, throw the CT in there, see what it sounds like. I'll play the same tracks at the same volume 23, 24. Alright, so we get the CT sounds in there. I'm gonna play the same song, same volume, same everything. Let's see what they kinda of sound like. The CT sounds is definitely shaking everything much more. I can barely keep the microphone sitting on the center console and the headrest is actually shaking on this one. Definitely seems like the Tropo hits harder and kind of shakes things more. The power and everything is the same. So just compared the two in this box, the Tropo definitely sounds better. I did actually get a chance to run both of these for about a week straight to kind of break them in a little smoother, not just test tones on a bench. The Tropo definitely performed a little bit better. It just sounded better and it just hit a little bit harder and it drove those those deeper tones a little better so i guess there's not really anything wrong with this sdr woofer per se it's not a bad woofer but the ct sounds woofer definitely just performs a little bit better especially in, in a similar price range if you build just a regular box like this one here that should work well with almost any woofer uh you know for whatever reason the ct sound just seems to drive a little bit better on the lower end compared to the SDR woofer. Now I actually run the SDRs before and I wasn't really happy with them and I tried this one out and I realized that it was quite a bit better so I wanted to make this video to kind of compare the two. You can kind of listen to it, judge it for yourself, see what you guys think about it. 
the CT sounds is a little bit more expensive, but I think it's worth it. The extra $20 you're going to spend, the extra $20 you're going to spend on the Tropo versus the Scar, I mean, I really think it's more than $20 better than the Scar. It's a little bit heavier to begin with. It just feels like a better woofer all the way around. The Scar woofer just seems like a little bit cheaper product seem like this should be somewhere maybe like an $80 woofer not really like a hundred dollar woofer still pretty neat I just think the quality is much better and obviously the sounds just a little bit deeper I couldn't really believe that the tropo was actually shaking the headrest as much as it was and that the scar wasn't now it's possible the scar just wasn't in a box that was better designed for it but this woofer box is one and a half cubic feet. It's tuned to 35 hertz. It's a pretty basic design. They should be pretty similar. Whatever reason, the CT sound just played lower and it played every frequency very nicely. Either one, you probably couldn't go wrong. I'd spend the extra $20 or I'd look for something different. I'm just not impressed by the SCAR woofer. So over the past few weeks, I've been playing the other two woofers in my car and I like the CT sound so much, I decided to buy the next model up. I built this custom box for them. And I think I'm going to run these in my car instead. Alright, let's go see what these things will do. It dropped my Groot out. So because I like these so much, I'm going to do you guys a solid. And I'm going to give both of these woofers away. I'm going to give away this Scar SDR and this CT Sounds Tropa woofer. They both work perfectly fine. We just tested them. Sound pretty good. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment below if you want the SCAR or if you want the CT Sounds. Also, if there's another brand that's similar to these two in price and performance, let me know. I would love to check them out. All right, guys, it's time for the giveaway date. July 1st, 2021, must be subscribed, must comment below which one you want on the YouTube video, CT Sounds Trovo 12 inch or SCAR SDR 12 inch woofer. Again, these are these woofers right here, SCAR SDR 12 inch woofer. These are used woofers, they're in good condition. There we go. Two woofers. You have your brand new. Which one do you want? Comment below. Also, side note, if you need help building an enclosure for one of these, you can hit me up. I can provide you some specs for either which one, if you want to make a purpose built for a certain application, SPL, whatever, go to my recent video that I'll link below where I show you how to build just a random uh, enclosure by yourself. You don't need any special tools, no routers, nothing. It's all done at home. It's all done by hand. Very easy. Uses free software. Everything is really easy. It's all on the internet. All the calculations can be made right there in your own home. You can build a woofer box for this one or this one for less than twenty dollars in tools and probably another thirty forty dollars in materials no brainer there's no excuse build you a good box i want to see it i want to see one of you guys win the subwoofer get out there build an enclosure have some base have some fun i just want to see it i want to see you guys doing something cool in the stereo world